Welcome to the deep dive. All right, so have you heard the one about monkeys basically guaranteeing that the British keep control of Gibraltar? I have heard something about that, yeah. Yeah, the legend goes that, like, as long as these macaques are just kind of hanging out there, roaming around, like, the Brits are going to stay in control. Oh, wow. That's a pretty powerful legend. Right. And during World War II, this whole legend, it, like, actually took center stage. Oh, really? How so? Okay. So picture this, right? World War II is raging, and the macaque population on Gibraltar, it dwindles down. Down to what? Like, a few monkeys? Seven. Seven monkeys. Wow. That's that's barely a troop at that point. Right. And get this. Winston Churchill, you know, the guy, the prime minister, the guy known for like serious strategic thinking. Oh, yeah. He personally steps in and orders that the macaque population be replenished. He did. Wow. I never knew that. That's actually that's a pretty interesting story. I mean, in the middle of a war, he's worried about monkeys. Yeah. He saw those monkeys like as a symbol, right? Like a vital thing to keep up this idea of British strength, especially when, you know, Things were really tough. That's fascinating. It's almost like, you know, a marketing campaign in itself. Like he understood the power of a symbol and decided to invest in it even during a war. Exactly. It's like he invested in like this living, breathing symbol of British control on Gibraltar. So like what can we learn from this? Right. This pretty wild move. I think Churchill, maybe without even realizing it, was using some really timeless marketing principles, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it. He saw that they had this unique asset, right? These monkeys are not like anything else. And he used them strategically. Yeah. And he was proactive, right? He made sure that even with everything going on, that symbol stayed strong. And he was playing the long game, right? Like that investment in those macaques, that was about making people think about British control for a long time, hopefully even after the war. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. So, like... First takeaway for all of us, you know, trying to figure out this whole marketing thing. Absolutely. We got to find and flaunt those unique things that we have. Exactly. Just like those macaques with a <laughs> symbol of British presence. Yeah. So what makes your business or your brand stand out? It's like, what's your Gibraltar monkey, oh, right? I really like that. What's that thing about you that's a little quirky, a little different, maybe even totally unexpected, that's going to grab people's attention and make you memorable. Yeah. It could be, you know, where you came from, your story, or like a totally weird thing about your product or like a service that nobody else offers. It's not just about being different for the sake of being different. It's got to be different in a way that actually means something to your audience. Right. And it helps you stand out from everybody else who's doing the same thing. Oh, that's so smart. Everybody listening, you got to go find your Gibraltar monkey. But OK, so <laughs> Churchill, he wasn't just sitting around like hoping for the best, right? Oh, no, definitely not. He took action. He did something. He was proactive. Yes. And that brings us to our second takeaway. Be proactive. Exactly. Don't just wait around hoping some lucky break is going to fall in your lap. You have to go and hunt down those opportunities. You got to make your own luck. Exactly. Just like Churchill, he replenished those monkeys. You've got to always be checking out your market, you know, who you're selling to your audience and who else is out there doing what you do, your competitors. You've got to know what's happening. What are the new trends that are popping up? Yeah. What are people doing that's new? Yeah. What are those gaps that you can jump into that you can fill? I mean, think about it. If Churchill had just sat around and waited, that whole image of British strength, it might have fizzled out, you know? Yeah, it would have just faded away. Exactly. But he was proactive. He made sure that his like marketing campaign, we could call it, that it stayed strong. So it's like, we can't just be passive. We got to be on top of things. You got it. Okay. And finally, this whole monkey mission, it was really about playing the long game, right? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was about the future. 100%. And that leads us to our third key takeaway. You got to invest in the future. Absolutely. Marketing isn't just about like making a quick buck right now. Right. It's about building something that lasts. Yeah. Yeah. Like a brand that people recognize and trust. Yeah. It's about making those relationships with customers that are going to keep them coming back. And it's about creating a legacy that's going to live on even after, you know, you're not doing it anymore. I love that. And just like those monkeys, they were supposed to make sure that people kept thinking of the British being in control for a long time, right? Your marketing efforts... They need to be focused on creating something that's going to be around for a while. Something that's sustainable, that can keep going. Exactly. 
-hmm. Think about it like content marketing, where you're putting out valuable information all the time. Right. Or like building a strong community online where yeah. people feel connected to your brand or even just coming up with a brand identity that really speaks to people and is going to resonate with them for years to come. These aren't like quick fixes or anything. No, definitely not. They're investments in your success down the line. Okay, so to recap, our very unlikely marketing guru, Mr. Winston Churchill himself, what he's taught us is this, right? Yes. Embrace the things that make you different. You got to be proactive, got to adapt to what's going on, and you always, always got to keep the future in mind. Mm. Who knew we'd get all these really great marketing tips from a story about, like, monkeys in a World War II prime minister. It really is amazing. It makes you think, right? If Churchill thought it was important to take care of a symbol like those macaques, what's your macaque in your business? Yeah. What needs that kind of attention? What can you start working on today that's going to really pay off big time for years down the road? That's a great question for everybody to think about. I think so. And on that note, that's our deep dive for today. That's it for us. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Step right up, we're diving in. Marketing tales from where to when. Curious facts to make you grin. Welcome, friends. Let's begin. From lost campaigns to clever schemes, broken dreams and wild extremes. The lessons learned through all extremes. Truth is stranger than it seems. Oh, it's the deep dive you gotta hear. Marketing tales from far and near. The lessons wrapped in laughter clear. Oh yeah, we're taking the rear. Marketing myths and legends bold. Stories better than gold. Every tale is retold in ways you've never been told. From the quirky ads gone haywire to campaigns that catch fire. Every story to admire. Tune in and let's aspire. Oh, it's the deep dive you gotta hear. Marketing tales from far and near. Lessons wrapped in laughter clear. Oh yeah, we're taking the rear. From lost campaigns to clever schemes. Broken dreams and wild extremes. The lessons learned through all extremes. Truth is stranger than it seems. It's the deep dive you gotta hear Marketing tales from far and near Lessons wrapped in laughter clear Oh yeah, we're taking the rear Oh yeah, we're taking the rear Oh, it's the deep dive you gotta hear Marketing tales from far and near Lessons wrapped in laughter clear Oh yeah, we're taking the rear